Welcome back. This is Kirk Almighty. This is episode four of my Advanced Tactics Gold PBEM game versus Mike. And Mike has had a chance to take his turn now. Let's come back around. And here we start to see some of Mike's armor that I knew he must have had. He brought these guys down here. Brought in... Oh, he hasn't moved these armors here. This armor here for you, which I'm, I know there was more there than just that. My intel's a little shoddy there, cause probably because how far away he is. Uh, what did I do this round? My strategic bombers, I eliminated. A, where was it? Right here, there was an aircraft factory. I took it out. I took out the gun factory over here. I hit this tank factory over here with the bombers here who were injured from attacking that city last turn they weren't quite able to take it out uh, there's still a little bit of life left on that one so that one actually survived the attack but it's not going to be producing much I can tell you that um, this city here has actually bounced back quite a bit these ones are still down I think I got some intel on this one yeah so you have to assume that was completely knocked out and so was this you have to assume this is about the same so I may hit some cities again next round uh, I can see he's reacting now. You see here, this is a flak unit he was getting ready to build here. Uh, there might already be something in there, I don't know, because I did an air recon, I think, right here. And I wanted to see if I was going to get uh, intercepted by these fighters, if they had enough readiness. Uh, I don't even know if he's got them set to intercept or not right now. But um, he must have them set at 75 readiness to intercept because they did not intercept. I usually set mine at 50. I'm not. I think by default. Well, no, by default they're none. I usually set mine at 50. Um, so if they'd have been at 50, they should have intercepted. Well, there's, a, there's still always a possibility they won't. I attacked. He built an airbase over here, and he moved some fighters over there, and I went ahead and attacked it uh, with some fighters of my own. And uh, I did pretty good there, actually. I attacked it. I think with this. Where's the wounded group? Four fighters. He had, I believe, ten right there. Uh, but the readiness was all down. I noticed probably from this attack over here when he sent them over there. So and they were ones, regular fighters and fighter twos, mostly fighter twos, I think. So I said, well, shoot, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him now because this fighter group has actually got some experience built up has some experience built up and they, they were at 100 readiness there I mean they were they were ready to go and I was like even though I'm outnumbered I bet you I could do some damage there and I did I actually killed quite a few of his fighters and let's look at the losses here Eastern Empire there we go right there I killed five of his fighters and I lost one so that that was a pretty good pretty good deal right there these few infantry here and what and infantry type units and whatnot that were lost were just lost through artillery attacks. I actually mounted no land attack. All of my attacks were strategic bomber bombings and some air. So mostly I've been fighting an air war right now, which I've been getting the better of. I've been fighting a pretty good air war so far. I got... Mm, oh, after he advanced this large stack of tanks ward. I was contemplating building some tactical bombers anyway, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we will, I'll have some coming in here the next turn. Um, I'm going to build an aircraft, uh, an airbase right here, and uh, and then when they come in, I'll send them right over there, and they'll have a little bit of readiness or a little bit of action points. Maybe it might take 40 or 50 action points to move them over there. So they should be able to do at least a partial attack on uh, on those tanks next round. Maybe they'll take out one or two of them. Uh, I've got tank anti-tank guns lined up all around here now. When these tanks rolled in, they actually did attempt an assault right here. Uh, didn't work out too great for them. Uh, he didn't really take uh, much in the way of losses, and neither did I. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna, I'll show you the... Uh, Here's what happened right here. Okay, he did some artillery bombardments here and there. There's his attack right there. He lost one. Yeah, that was a little quick. Let's just jump right to that. Yeah, here's his artillery. Artillery. Okay, right here. Um, yeah, I lost a fair amount of SMGs in that. 
and a couple mortars, infantry. Oh well, yeah. yeah, he did pretty good. I held, I lost an artillery piece. So I'd say he made out pretty good on that attack. Um, he lost one of his medium tanks. Um, I did, what did I do? I bombarded this guy with some artillery, infantry guns mostly, and one group of standard artillery. This group, the three that was left. And um, I did manage to lower the readiness a little bit more on these guys. But now you see I got them flanked all around. I put an anti-tank gun there, and then I got to think about that. I don't even think he can even attack that with armor. Because that's swamp, and in swamp... Yeah, track move. Yeah, he can't even move in there, so I didn't really need to move that AT gun down there. But I got one sitting over here. I got two of these AT groups right here. There's four anti-tank guns sitting here right now. Um, and yeah, they're still start to get that entrenchment bonus. The guys over here got a huge entrenchment bonus on these anti-tank guns. So with that entrenchment bonus, they're going to be basically fighting at double strength. Um, so I'm actually hoping that he will attempt, and I, I knocked down the readiness a bit on these guys over here. I'm actually hoping he will attempt to attack this fortress right here, or this fortification with the AT guns there and all these guys, because I think he'll end up losing out on it. I think I'll probably hold it, and he'll lose a bunch of his tanks. Uh, then what's left there, I can swoop down in with some dive bombers next turn and hopefully do some damage on that. And anything else pertinent happen here? Let's see. Just got some more artillery coming in here. Just kind of starting to soften up his line. I need to start sending some artillery to the central guy right here. He's just been kind of sitting here right now. Uh, I did extend a row down to here, I believe, and then I moved that. Did I? I'm pretty, yeah, I did. I can see it a little bit right here. Unless, yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, then I moved him up here because um, I want to build... Like I said, I'm going to need to build that air base there next round. Uh, so far, I'm happy with the way things are going. Still no uh, um, base being built up here. I still got pretty good weather for a while. Uh, once the mud starts rolling in here, it's going to it's it's going to ground my air force, except for these guys down here in the south. I may even actually have to build a couple more bases around here. Uh, just to try and keep maybe some of my strategic bombers able to hit down in the south down here, keep something in the air. Because um, these guys up north are going to get grounded here for well, a couple, two, three turns probably there over the winter. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, but until then, I'm just going to continue to do as much damage as I can. I'm going to start, I want to try and soften these guys and eventually soften these guys up and then eventually start to move in here. That's my plan right now so far, and it seems to be working okay. Uh, and uh, I think we'll go ahead and end this video here, and we'll see what Mr. Mike does on his turn, and uh, we'll see how it goes.